Let's create some t-shirts into Canva to sell later. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, guys, I'm going to show you what we can do. So if you don't know so far, Canva is an amazing place to design almost everything into this great application. And in today's tutorial, guys, I'm going to be using some Canva Pro features. So if you have a free account, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description so you guys can have the amazing tool of Canva Pro for the next 30 days totally for free. With that being said, let's just get started. All right, so as you can see, we're now here into Canva. What we want to do in order to get started is to uh, first focus into what exactly you want to sell and how you want to sell them. So one, we want to sell t-shirts and two, we want to design them into Canva. And number three, where do you want to sell this stuff? So in my case, I'm using another application called Printify. Now Printify is an amazing place to do some print on demand and you can choose whatever option and products you want to see here and just need to add your design. And then you can later sell that into Amazon, into Shopify, into Etsy, whatever place that you want to sell stuff with. So in order to get started guys, I just need to get into the option that says sign it up and I have created my account. So I want to focus a lot into how to sell your actual t-shirts, but only into how to design the actual stuff into Canvas so you can sell that later into whatever option platform that you choose. So in my case, since we are using Printify, I'm going to be using like something really, really easy. Some unisex cotton, ultra, whatever this one says. So what I want to do is to hit into start designing. And what do I want to do? do this before I get started because if I choose the actual front and back side I want to see what are the requirements from this page in order to start uploading my actual um, this site so for example you have the print file requirements as you can see you have uh, this file type supported the maximum is this one and the print area size is this actual dimensions so what I want to do is to look out for the print area size, which is 36 and 45. So I want to look out for Home Canva, look out for create a design. I'm going to look out for custom size. And here I want to input the same parameters that appears into my platform. In my case, it's 36 by 45. So I'm going to type 36 and 45 pixels create a new design and it's going to be popping up the new design section where i can just import and create my actual design so here into canva let's talk about the tools now here into canva there are a lot of tools that we can use totally for free we can have templates we have elements we have uploads text projects and so much more now if i type into elements let's say for example that i want to look for a heart so i click into heart it's going to be appearing a lot of lines and shapes graphics photos frame videos and much more in today's tutorial i just want to focus into graphics now this graphics are going to be helping me a lot to customize whatever element that i choose here inside canva so for example here you have let's say for example this custom heart and this one automatically gets changed into another color so if i select here my element what you can do is to choose whatever button that appears in here to make this a little bit more big enough like this and you're going to center this as you can see you had some guidelines and there we go so uh, as you can see now we have the magic recommendations the magic recommendation is going to be helping you to track and find a few elements that can be helping you to be related into the element that you just imported i'm going to type into see all and here are a lot of related images based on the one that i just choose so if you want to try it out with adding some more elements into the one that you just added. You can do that. Let's say for example, the second one, and I'm gonna make this a little bit more smaller and I can choose to change the actual rotation and leave it, let's say for example, like that. And there we go. So there's our design, right? If you want to move all the elements into just one uh, move, what I can do is to drag and drop my mouse from outside into the other side of the document. I'm gonna move from one place into another one and I'm going to just choose once again this circle so I can just make this a little bit more bigger and there we go so I'm going to choose a center like this so there we go so lastly guys if you want to add something else you can do that into elements you can add let's say for example like a text or whatever you wanted to in my case if I just choose text I want to look out for a add a subheading and here I want to type Y O and U and a dot let's go for custom text into the custom text what I can do 
if I choose the text that I just clicked into, I can see all the tools that can be helping me to edit the actual element that I just choose. In our case, this is the actual text. So if I clicked into you, I want to type the font style and I want to change the one that best fits for my actual document. As you can see, there's a lot of their pews with a actual crown. So this one are only specific for the Canva Pro. That's the reason why I just gave you 30 days totally for free. So you can check it out this great tools for yourself. So lastly, just what I wanted to do is to make this a little bit more big enough. There we go. So what I want to do now is to export this in order to see this into a t-shirt. Now this is something really, really basic. I'm going to go into the new advanced tools, but I'm going to be showing you how we can import this into the new platform that you're just using for creating some t-shirt designs. So uh, what I want to do is to select all of my elements and hit into the option that says group. So I can move all the three elements. And then what I want to do is to look out for my share section that appears into the upper side and look out for download. Once I do found a download section, I want to look out for a file typed and I want to once again check it out the print file requirements. So as you can see, I can use uh, the PNG file type supported. So I want to use, use this one. And here into the maximum is 50 megabytes. What I can totally recommend you is to choose the PNG file and here you want to enable the option that says transparent background. So you only want to choose the elements and not the white color because you want to use this for an actual t-shirt. And our file has been saved. So let's move on into importing our product. So there's two ways that we can do this. The very first one is to import this into the platform that you want to start selling or doing this directly from Canva. So let's go into the third party. Now here into the third party, what I want to do is to import the design that we just downloaded from and created from Canva. So I'm going to tip into new design. Now, as you can see, the actual green size is as accurate as it was because we actually follow the rules of the positions of the design. So as you can see, it's actually looking good. If I go into the back side, I can add something else. But in my case, I just want to stick around with the front size. So with that being said, I'm actually good to go into the actual save product. And as you can see, we have a high resolution. I'm gonna go into save my product and then we can continue with the actual mockups. Now we have the tile image and the mockup, as you can see, this is how it's gonna be looking. So what I just want to do is to go into the save as a draft or I can go into publish, whatever you want to. And there we go. This is our product has been created. Now, how can we do this into Canva? Let's go back into Canva. Now here, what I want to do is to look out for a actual new element. So if I, let's say for example, that I choose this option, I'm going to type into edit my image. And here, what I want to do is to look out for smart mockups. If I choose the option that says select all or see all, I'm going to see that there's a lot of options that I can choose so I can look out for my actual document inside this other products or catalogs. So in our case, let's type something new. Let's type into a hoodie. So just clicked in there, typed once again to see the controls, and you can change that depending on what is the actual design and size as you want to see into this mockup. This is the actual mockup, and this is how it's going to appear in your design into the t-shirt. And there we go. All the elements are now inside our hoodie. So with that being said, guys, this is how you can get started with the mockups, with the designs of t-shirts and much more inside Canva. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to see more amazing tools for Canva. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Hopefully this was very useful for you. So I'll see you guys on the next video and have lots of fun.